an ultra-high-speed pipeline maglev system, more commonly known as a hyperloop, was first proposed by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2013. The transport system uses vacuum-sealed tubes to transport passengers and cargo. China is already a leader in high-speed rail technology, and investing in hyperloop technology could help maintain its position as a global leader in transport innovation. The Hyperloop project is of strategic significance to China. China has completed the main body of its first hyper-high-speed rail, which is the longest and largest full-scale ultra-high-speed low-vacuum tube maglev transportation system under construction in the world, with a speed of 1,000 km per hour. This Hyperloop technology combines magnetic levitation and low vacuum to achieve ultra-high speed operation. The rail is set to connect Shanghai and Hangzhou, reducing the travel time between the two cities to just nine minutes. Contrary to concerns about safety, the Hyperloop system offers advantages, such as a fully enclosed track that eliminates disturbances, straight tracks that minimize turning risks, and a magnetic levitation drive that reduces mechanical failures. This makes the Hyperloop a safer, and more stable transportation option compared to traditional methods. The high-speed flying train is envisioned to be used for intercity travel between megacity clusters in the future. Several lines competed for the Hyperloop project in China, including the beijing Shijiazhuang, guangzhou shenzhen and chengdu chongqing lines. A beijing Shijiazhuang line would connect the capital city of Beijing with Shijiazhuang, the capital city of Hebei province thereby connecting two major cities in northern China and relieving congestion on existing transport routes around the capital region. The Greater Bay Area lies in a strategic region at the heart of Asia-Pacific, making it an ideal hub for connecting China with other countries in the region and beyond. A chengdu chongqing line would connect two major cities in western China, one of the fastest-growing regions in the country thanks in part to the Belt and Road Initiative. The economic potential of each line was evaluated according to factors such as population density, economic activity, and existing transport infrastructure. A Hangzhou Shanghai line would be most feasible and beneficial for China to pursue. Shanghai and Hangzhou are both major cities with strong economic and cultural significance, while Shanghai is the largest city in China by population, is a global financial center and home to the world's largest Tesla car factory, which is run by Elon Musk Hangzhou. Traveling by car between the cities takes about three hours, or about an hour by high-speed rail to cover 200 km, but a Hyperloop line could cut the trip to about nine minutes. In just 15 years, China has built enough high-speed rail to circle the Earth. Some engineering experts say that experience can be leveraged to accelerate the construction of a Hyperloop. China's vast high-speed rail network has required massive investment in research and development, engineering expertise, and advanced manufacturing. These same resources could be applied to the development of Hyperloop technology. China's experience in building high-speed rail had also provided valuable lessons in project management, logistics, 